marine litter, particularly when made of plastic, has been identified as one of the most pervasive problems affecting the marine environment globally. It is estimated that more than 150 million tons of plastic have already accumulated in the world's oceans. Each year, the equivalent of over 525,000 truckloads of plastic enters our oceans. At the increasing predicted rates, plastics in the ocean will outweigh fish pound for pound by 2050. On a global scale, plastics account for 72% of all marine litter. Regional variations are large with plastic making up between 60 and 90% of marine litter. But what is our state of knowledge of marine litter in the Arctic? Is it a problem? Are we, Arctic states and inhabitants, contributing to the situation? Are we already taking any actions to address marine litter? These are some of the questions PAME is trying to answer and has collected existing literature and scientific studies on marine litter in the Arctic to better understand the sources and drivers of marine litter, the pathways and distribution, the interactions with and impacts on biota, and monitoring and responses. The result is the desktop study of marine litter in the Arctic, including microplastics. It concludes that marine litter is coming from both within and outside the Arctic, but we do not know the contributions of each. Despite the lack of estimates of input linked to different human activities occurring in the Arctic region, the analysis of existing coastal and sea for litter data identifies fisheries-related activities as a major source of marine litter in the Arctic in terms of number of objects and mass. Other sea-based activities like aquaculture, passenger and goods shipping, and oil and gas exploration activities constitute additional sea-based sources. The desktop study concluded that there is a need for a more comprehensive knowledge on Arctic-specific marine litter sources and pathways and its effects on the Arctic marine environment. Thus, developing a regional action plan on marine litter in the Arctic is timely, recognizing that an action plan can be modified over time as more knowledge is accumulated. That is indeed what PAME intends to do next. PAME's regional action plan's objectives include Coordination with other Arctic Council working groups in scoping out a regional action plan. Continued development of outreach and communication material. Engage with indigenous and local communities and other relevant stakeholders. And contribute to the prevention and or reduction of marine litter in the Arctic and its impacts on marine organisms, habitats, public health and safety and society. In the long term, a regional action plan on marine litter can assist Arctic states in meeting Sustainable Development Goal 14, Target 14.1, to, by 2025, prevent and significantly reduce marine litter pollution of all kinds, in particular from land-based activities, including marine debris and nutrient pollution. Outreach efforts are also at the center of this project and currently includes a message in the bottle which is a GPS-equipped capsule which will highlight how litter can travel to and from the Arctic in a live map online. Keep track of the project on PAME's website and social media pages.